Well, good afternoon, Brother Mark. This time at a public library. I figure we're Turner Syndrome Awareness Month. You might want to see. I guess you need more, more uh, Turner Syndrome Awareness. In a previous video, I went ahead and went to the Ohio State University Library where I happened to have a card. And we did some searches, and they were kind of farther and farther the field. And I think there were some recent journal articles, but most of the information was about 15 years old. And Image of Talark and her, her videos kind of mentioned sometimes the lack of current information can be a little daunting. And, although sometimes the, I think it's doing, Dean Mooney said very widely in 2018, that North Carolina Regional Conference, that sometimes the, the, the brain hasn't changed in how, in how it worked over the past. 20 years, so some, so when it comes to learning disabilities, sometimes some of the material is actually quite relevant, and I'd have to kind of disagree with his thesis. But just for academic comparison, let's see. Oops, let's see what happens if we go to the Columbus Public Library and we use their computer, and let's just see what happens. That's kind of hard to try to do this all on one page. Okay, so there's our topic of Turner Syndrome. Now I'm going to hit go. I think the answer to that question is no. Well, let's see what we find. I know about the, the novel condition. It, I actually have I actually have read it and kind of was a left an odd feeling. Another fiction book, I believe. Yeah, let's look let's look that one up. Well, interesting. All right, let's go back and see what happens. Actually, it, it, it might, for, for some, that might be kind of a fun read. I can't really speak much on the book, the novel, The Condition, but I understand that it actually has some pretty decent uh, critical acclaim. So let me just look up that citation. I have tried to write to read it and it just for me. It just was hard. It just, it just the, the the novel really didn't you know, really didn't take off for me. So it's you know I, I tried tried to read it. I must confess I rather lost interest in it. But I've also heard other people have also had some pretty good reviews on it. But but if I'm trying to find just some basic information on Turner Syndrome that the public library, it gets kind of interesting. You know, let's keep looking. Sorry about shaking the computer. And for Columbus, Ohio, that's all there is. I think I think Cleveland would do pretty well. Uh, Cincinnati is, is, is the fourth largest public library in, in the country, so I'm sure <clears throat> that, since, that Cincinnati would, be, would do well. I think of in larger cities like, like Chicago, uh, Philadelphia, New York, or my favorite 
Happy Hunting Grounds in my youth at the Boston Public Library. I think you do. I think you do pretty well. But it, it really does show that if you're just trying to find information um, on, on Turner Syndrome, that it can be quite frustrating. I'm just an outside observer, just trying to learn more about it, so that I can be a better butterfly, a friend of the butterflies. But for a but for a parent who's got a newly diagnosed child, or or just or even adult sisters that are just trying to learn more, or even somebody who's trying to try and do something like a book report, this, this is an exercise in futility. I know we're not. I know we're not alone. And I guess it only goes to prove that. I think awareness and education and advocacy you know, is, is the key. And I do I do little things like like sharing YouTube. I share my support and my encouragement on Facebook. And, and sometimes in my travels, when I'm talking to somebody sitting next to somebody on the plane or to a cab driver, you know, I share every, every chance I get. And some of the conversations on the planes have been have been quite enlightening in that respect. So. We all got to do do a part. The butterflies, obviously, they need to do what they can be to be Turner strong. And and as friends on the outside, they just want to support. I guess we got our work cut out for us. So. Yep, just a food for thought. And I gave it an honest try. As always, take what you like, leave the rest. Hit the like button, and we'll talk to you next time.